Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in today's video, I'll be going over my 2025 certification roadmap for offensive security. These are currently how I have everything laid out. I did leave off the CRTO2. Um, that will be in there. That's going to be dependent on my C Sharp development. And I know OSCP might have a little bit of that. But from my, what I read and from who I've asked who have took both of those exams, say that the CRTO2 uh, you'll need to be more heavily knowledgeable on the C Sharp. So that's why I did not put that on there. However, just like last year, my certifications might change and adjust. However, my goal is to get, no matter how they change and adjust, my goal is to be able to get all these certifications done, completed, passed, whatever you want to call it, by the end of 2025. So let's hop right into the video and go over my uh, roadmap for the certifications. So as I said, this is my 2025 certification roadmap on what I based my training and pretty much what I need to work on for 2025 in order to become more of a proficient, more skilled offensive security um, pen tester, red teamer, whatever you want to call it um, or brand it as. Number one is going to be web, um, hitting web. And I actually reached one early and got the CBBH. Um, there's going to be two exams on here, technically three exams on here that I did not put on on this roadmap, but I will be trying to do them as well. Um, one of them, as I said in the intro, is going to be dependent on C Sharp, but the goal is to get it done this year. Um, I'll go over those the other two uh, in a bit. Um, so starting off uh, currently right now on my pathway, uh, I am doing the hack the box um, pathway for the CAPE Certified Active Directory Penetration Test Expert, I think is what it's called. Um, so that's my goal is to take that no later than the week of Valentine's week, second day of or second week of February. That is my goal. As soon as that is done, uh, my goal is to take that and have that completed kind of similar to what I had my other exams that Thursday, Friday, turn it in that Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. Um, and then hit the pathway hard for the CWEE and also the TCM. Um, I actually got this wrong. Uh, I'm not sure what the expert um, the expert certification is. I thought this was it when they rebranded some of their certs. But this one is the one that I might be doing as well on the side with this uh, as supplemental. Uh, not supplemental, but like uh, in parallel. And the one I'll be doing this in parallel is the TCM Advanced Web one. I don't know. I forgot the name of the um, the acronym. They so many damn acronyms, and they changed a couple of them. So as soon as this is done, my goal is to get into the web, hit the web hard on these two different trainings from TCM and hack the box. Um, hit the web hard, and not just you know do them but have a good thorough understanding of what I'm doing. And I'll also be utilizing Port Swigger as well as some of their more expert, intermediate expert level um, trainings as well. Uh, and also, you know, the second one that I have is Cloud. Um, also doing the Pwn Box, did two of the boot camps for Azure and AWS. Um, I am gonna be doing their training as well, or they're um, similar to Hack the Box, they're, they're different labs and their modules. Uh, since I did sign up for the year for that, I think it was $200. Um, I will be utilizing that with each one of these trainings as well, since they both have, uh, Palm, Palm Labs has both Azure AWS for red team and also blue team. So uh, when I break it down, I'll be utilizing not only CloudBreach IOS training, but also Palm Box training as well um, for each. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to take a step back from the web hit Azure, and then also go back to the Offsec OSWE, just kind of go back, get a refresher from some of these, um, and then knock this one out. Um, I hear this one's more of a code review approach for this exam, but um, I did do the training in 2020, 2022. I did not take the exam. I only got like up to halfway, um, and it was kind of kind of spotty. It wasn't not straight through. Um, and then also after that, uh, once I complete this, 
I'll be going into the Cloud Breach IO for AWS. Um, and then after that, um, also, well, just real quick with this, I will be utilizing Pwnbox as well for supplemental training. And then here is where it's going to be um, OSEP. Now, from what I've been told and what I researched, there is some C sharp knowledge required. Um, however, it's not as extensive uh, as the CRTO2. That's why I left that out because I'm probably going to take the CRTO2 towards the end of the year as of now. Again, it might change depending on uh, how much I could soak in and feel comfortable doing on my own, building stuff, uh, writing stuff uh, in C-sharp. So, I mean, hell, I could even move it up here in the middle of the year. Possibly, if I feel that confident, I'll probably hit it before DEF CON. Um, but again, that's kind of the one where it's either going to be before DEF CON or my, the last um, Christmas, uh, New Year break, holiday break of 2025. So that's my goal. And then also there is the Hack the Box CDSA. I did finish the pathway. I'm probably going to do that sometime in mid to the end of January just to get it knocked out. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have it planned out while I have at least two to three weeks left of the, the modules uh, because I really want to take my time and get good, thorough understanding of the Active Directory as these seem like they really go in depth and they're really granular as far as the uh, the Cape pathway. So I want to, you know, if I can just knock that out and then I'll do a review on that exam. Uh, but that's my goal. That's the floating one. Um, you know, I, I did, did it mainly for the training for the pathways. I'm not really, you know, concerned about getting the exam or, or rushing that. It's a nice to have. It's not a, a need as far as these and, and stuff where I want to go with my career. And then also I'm still doing the sector seven, uh, stuff in the mornings, uh, still on the essentials. Um, so that's pretty much my my pathway here as far as, as what I got going on for the 2025 certification roadmap. There might be some stuff here, like uh, I do really want to get the CrowdStrike Threat Hunter uh, certification. We're still waiting on how to get some credits for two out of the three modules that you need actual credits from CrowdStrike. And those are like the bread and butter of of that of the CrowdStrike pathway. Um, so once we get those, and then obviously, you know, you have to pay for the exam. I think it's through peer view. Um, so I'm just waiting on that. I might throw that if that gets done uh, within house for work, they get all that shit situated. That's definitely one that's going to be added on here as well. I do like CrowdStrike, love their products. Um, and then, you know, also my second, second tier as far as what I want to do. Uh, you know, is, is going to be threat hunting um, as far as from the cyber spectrum. So I think that'll be good, uh, good to have. And then also, again, especially CrowdStrike being more and more popular, they got their shit in order, their shit works. Um, learning how that works from, from a threat hunter standpoint is definitely going to take, you know, your red teaming and pen testing, et cetera, to a whole nother level. Um, learning both, right? They both complement each other as far as learning, hence purple team purple teaming. So this is my 2025 certification roadmap. Um, not nearly, it, it's pretty extensive, but it's doable. Um, you know, I'm cutting out my time from the bars, hanging out at Hooters. Um, I don't care with the rule change for the NFL. I don't really care about NFL anymore. I only watch like one or two games. The only sport I really watch are hockey, San Jose Sharks and college football, Kentucky Wildcats. Um, I'll do, you know, I might watch the San Francisco Giants game here and there. I don't really get to see my Sharks play that much because Central Time, I mean, the games start at 9, 9.30. And I'm pretty much, you know, coming back from jujitsu, which I plan on getting back in to, um, you know, there's no way for me to stay up that late and watch the game. So if I do watch it, it'll be on a Saturday or unless they do play the Stars here, which is very rare. I think it's only like two or two, one or two times a year, if that. So, um, again, I pretty much, you know, someone asked, you know, how do I get so much done? This is my priority outside of my kids and my bills, um, you know, and doing other stuff like reading up on financial stocks, cryptos, new technology, stuff like that. This is my bread and butter of what my time goes to. I don't get burnt out. I don't feel burnt out. Um, you know, that's just what it is. Uh, you know, so 
Uh, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Just showing up and being accountable and consistency this year is going to be key to getting all these done. Um, and it's a lot. And it's a lot of stuff that's uncharted territory for me where, you know, I'm really, really going to need my patience, especially on the web API side of things. Um, and then also, you know, there's going to be some times where there might be one thrown in where I do need to get it. Like, say we implement a new technology at work. I'll just throw one out. We already have it. Uh, but we, kind I kind of went through it was dark trace, right? So, um, you know, anomaly or whatever. If, if there's something like that that gets thrown my way where I have to do it for work and it's kind of like everyone on the team has to do it, I'll, you know, I'm, I have no choice but to do it. So, uh, and then if that happens, I might do a video on it if it's worth it, um, you know, if it's something big or critical, um, you know, maybe something like assault, checks marks, check marks, something like that. Uh, but we'll see. Um, so again, this is my 2025 certification roadmap. Not set in stone. However, these ones right here are the main ones I do want to accomplish and get past in 2025. They might change, subject to change. But again, these six are, are on here that I do want to get and obtain. Um, so with that being said, that is the video for today. Please, you know, comment. Let me know what your certification roadmap is for 2025. Um, let me know if you think this is too much or if I could add more. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.